So it looks like little Dirk, along with several other of his homies, have been arrested in connection with the death of Lil Pab, Quando Rondo's homie. Several things, and I'll make this one brief. First, Lil Dirk is dumb. He's dumb for the paper trail that he left on himself, linking him to these crimes. And for even being involved with such a conspiracy. When Dirk does have the means of hiring a professional, a single professional to carry out the task at hand. They will not trace back to him. But Dirk wanted the attention, obviously. Instead of going to a contractor, he went to homies from the hood, paid them to do what they did. He's dumb. He gets what he deserves. Regardless of how people feel or them being fans or whatever. And that leads me to my final point. Is that every, every black content creator that I've seen who spoke on the Lil Durk issue. They all said free Lil Durk. Making no mention of the young black man who lost his life. Which is pretty typical. You will hear many black content creators talk about freeing the black man who's locked up for killing the black man. While giving no notice, no respect, no honor, nor dignity to the life that was lost. The other black man. Now, people need to take a look at themselves in the mirror because when you're talking about freeing a murderer who's responsible for black-on-black -black violence, I think people really need to consider their own mentality here. Now, when we commit crimes, we get what we deserve. We deserve the justice that's due. Now, if we can manage to make it through the justice system, being guilty, then kudos. But if not, there are consequences to our action, especially when they're criminal and deadly. But I think it's disgusting for black men to talk about black pride and, and have a problem with everyone else. And to be saying free a black criminal who committed a black crime against another black man or black criminal. But what respect is given to the life that was lost? Are you talking about resurrecting him? No. Is there any honorable mentions to him? No. It's just free little dirt, huh? Celebrity? Why? Why free little dirt? Because he's a celebrity? Or because he's black? But what about the black life lost when well, we're talking about freeing little Dirk? Black on black, brown on brown crime is something that has gone on for too long. And people don't seem to have a problem with it. They seem to have a problem with the person who gets caught for doing it. And, and and caring more about freeing that person to continue on with those types of crimes where our own people are being murdered. So what about the life lost in all of this? Are we going to speak about resurrecting him while we're speaking about freeing little Dirk? Now ask yourself, does does Dirk get what he deserves when, one, he left a paper trail as he has, li linking him to these crimes, using the people that he did in the commission of these crimes? Should we free them without making mention of that life lost? And, or should we give honor to the dead and say, resurrect the dead, bring the dead back? You can't do that, can you? When the life is lost, it's gone, it's dead, it's done. But to the living, we want to free them to continue on 
in this perpetual cycle of violence that plagues our society for my entire life and I'm 49 years old? Think about it, people. Really give some serious consideration to what you're putting out there when you're talking about freeing a murderer. Why not free Jeffrey Dahmer? Why not free Samuel Little? Why not? If we're going to be talking about freeing murderers, we get what we deserve. If we're going to commit crimes, especially violent crimes against our own people, then we deserve the judgment that is due. And as I continue to say, karma is instant. And it's all catching up with us quick. So give some thought to the, to the dead and pay a little more respects to them, I think. Peace. I'm out.